Hi! So I thought I would show you all the books that I bought in May, which is actually quite a lot of books. Um, just in the last week, in two days, I ended up buying 11 books. So the, the first five are ones which I bought from a shop called The Works, which sells books really cheap. Um, the first of these books is The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitz Fitzgerald. I don't really need to explain what this one's about because I think everybody knows. Um, yep. And with this, um, I also bought Dracula by uh, Bram Stoker because I'm trying to read more classics. Next ones were specials. And ex extras, both by Scott Westerfeld. They are the third and fourth um, books in the Ugly series. Um, I think extras is actually my favourite of the series because while I like while I like Tally, I think A is a more interesting, well not more interesting, but a more likable character. Um, and finally, from this shop was Weather. And I actually already own this book. I have a smaller copy, but my copy of Fever is this size, and this one just goes a lot better because I sort of like my books to match. And then we have Pride and Prejudice and Zombies, and Sense and Sensibility and Sea Monsters. Um, which of course are rewrites of the classic Sense and Sensibility of Red and Bridges by Jane Austen. But I think these both have different authors from each other. I'm going to read them at some point, but I want to read Pride and Prejudice before I read Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. Okay, finally, well, I say finally, but there's seven books. These are both. I think it was a series, it was four books, um, Love Letters by Jonah and Malcolm, which I think is a husband and wife, um, a husband and wife authors, and these books are actually quite interesting, they're about people who sort of fall in love um, through like letters or this one is a message in a, about a message in a bottle, and they're just really quite interesting. Next is Looking for JJ, and I really, I actually really like this cover as well. Looking for JJ is about, um, well, it's complicated. I'll read you the back. Alice Tully knows exactly what happened that spring day six years ago, although it's still hard for her to believe it's real. She never, she'll never be able to forget, even though she's trying to lead a normal life. She has a job, friends, and a boyfriend whom she adores. She's making a go of things, putting her past behind her at last, but Alice's past is dangerous and violent and sad. And it's about her, and it's about to rip her new life apart. It's, but it's, it's so interesting, it's well written, it just has you, like, it just keeps you reading. The next is 13 Reasons Why. I haven't read this, but I've heard things, sort of good things about it. And I thought, well, oh, 10p, I'll buy it. If I don't like it, I don't like it. Next is um, Princess Academy by Shannon Hale. I like this book. It's quite a fairy tale. Um, about a young girl who lives on a mountain in a little village and then the king sends a message to say that the future prin a future princess will come from this mountain village. This is, if you like fairy tales this is probably a good book to read. Next is Becoming Bindi, McK Becoming Bindi McKenzie by Jacqueline Moriarty. And I think it has different names in different countries. But 
I really like this book. It's about a teenager called Bindi who gets wrapped up in this like mysterious plot. And I like the way it's told. It's not told as like a regular book. It's notes and letters and emails. It's it's really good and interesting. And finally, The Looking Glass Walls by Frank Bador. I don't like this cover, I think this cover is really weird and shiny. Um, but it's, this book is great, it's, it's an interesting retelling of uh, Lewis Carroll, yeah Lewis Carroll, Lewis Carroll's Alice in Wonderland. Um, it's just a whole new take on it and it's really good. I think it's actually the first in a series, but they were only selling this one. Yeah. Okay, so I have talked long enough. Bye.